Hey guys, it's DJ Bo, and I'm going to be showing you another tutorial today with Virtual DJ or Numark Q, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is going to be the tutorial on how to broadcast over the internet uh, using the broadcast tab here and all of the uh, configuration in here. Now, some of you may be wondering, well, what in the world is broadcast for? Believe it or not, there are some radio stations out there, since I work at a radio station, I know this. There are some radio stations out there or even uh, some uh, syndicated shows that use this software to do their satellite mixes. For example, I don't know that Open House Party uses this, but I'm going to use that as an example. If you've ever listened to Open House Party with John Garabedian, you know that they do the satellite mixes. I don't know that they use this software, like I said, for that, but it's the same type of thing. And there are some clubs that actually will have the DJ use this software to DJ from one club in town to another club in town. I've seen that uh, done as well. Now, this is what you're going to want to do before you do anything, is you're going to want to go to this website right here, listen to my radio.com. All right, so you're going to want to go to listen to my radio.com and you're going to want to uh, sign up for this. Okay, just some basic information. Uh, you know, you're going to want to create a username and password and so forth. Once you've done that, you're going to log in. Once you have logged in, which you'll see here, I'm already uh, my status is already on, but I'm going to turn that off for now. And you would normally see your screen look like this. It would be all red, as you can see right here, red, lots of red, lots of red. Now, the first thing that you want to do is once you've created your account and you've logged in and you go to this screen, is you're going to want to go to Radio Details. You'll scroll down a bit and you'll see all of this information here about your account. And you should see an off. You want to go to the on off, click on that, scroll down a bit, and you'll hit the on button. Once it is turned on, it'll say radio is turning on. This sometimes takes a little bit of time. It's connecting to the server at this at this point, okay? Give it a little bit, sometimes up to three minutes, but usually not. You can refresh your page and it should all turn green as you can see now here. That means your radio is on. You're going to go back to radio details and make sure that it's on, which it says right there on. Now, we're going to go back to Virtual DJ. We're going to go to the configuration tab, all right? And we are going to uh, take this entire area down here, which is what you need here. You want it to uh, be selected to broadcast to radio server, all right? And most of us will be using uh, just a line in, or maybe you're going to be uh, recording from the master, or maybe a master and mic. You know, you can decide what you're going to be using there. Line in would be like the, the main line in on your computer, if you're going to be like hooking your uh, mixer up to your computer and doing it that way. But if, it's, uh, if your software is on your computer, you could just do master and hook up a microphone to your computer, or you can just do master and just do all music. Uh, I usually have selected line in because I like to plug my mixer into the computer and just let be the streamer, so to speak, or the middle man. Now, the format, you can choose between these two. I like to do shoutcast, and I usually select 192. You can select whatever you want your bit rate to be. Uh, obviously, once you get to, you know down below uh, like 56 or so, it's going to get pretty crappy, and it's also going to be quite a delay as well. Again, I have mine at 192. This also depends on your speed, your upload speed, and so forth. You might want to make sure that you check that out uh, by going you know online and doing a speed test for your computer. Now we need to find out what the server name is, and we need to find out the port that it's broadcasting on. So we're going to go back now to listen to myradio.com and we're going to look and see what our broadcast address is which is this right here up to this point okay the double colon you don't want that that is your port okay so we're going to copy that we're going to go back over to virtual DJ we're going to paste that into our server now we need to paste that port number in and here's the port number. 
copy that and paste that here. Now once the name, obviously that would be your username and it wants your password. And then you can uh, put anything you want to in the genre. We're going to call this Club Magic just for fun because that's what we usually use it for. We'll hit OK and we are ready to go. Now before you hit start you want to just double check and make sure that your um, radio server is on. Okay, If it's not on, then you got to go back and redo all that information. Now, we're going to go back to Q, we're going to hit start, and you will see here that it's broadcasting on the address that we gave it and port number and so forth and the actual time. If there's any issues and it's not broadcasting, it will tell you. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to play Keisha here. We're going to let that go for a little bit, all right? Now, I'm going to go back here, and what you're going to do is, this is your radio URL. So you can send this out to all of your friends, all right? And I've already got it right here. And you can hit refresh. It always does that for some reason. It moves that... Uh, over for some stupid reason I don't know why but right here it'll tell you how many listeners you have and the name of the song and you can listen to the stream that is what's being played here all right I'm going to stop that and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to hit play to make this connect there it is. And there it's playing. That is the stream. So you'll hear me in the background because I have mine selected in the record area. If we stop this and go back to configuration, I have mine line in so it's actually recording the USB, uh, the webcam, what I'm actually talking on right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. It's just that simple. That's how you do a, a uh, online radio station, how you broadcast over the internet. All right, hopefully that helped. Leave your uh, comments and questions below and so forth, and thanks for watching.